reputation is a very interesting word it is the beliefs or opinions that are generally held about someone or something what kind of reputation are you building for yourself today i am asking you because i want us to consider two types of reputation what opinion what belief do people hold about you because that is your reputation people develop a reputation based on their actions and their decisions today tomorrow people will have a certain report a certain account of you and that my brother that my sister is your reputation so i ask you what kind of reputation are you building for yourself today because tomorrow when you are gone tomorrow when you are not there people are going to give a report concerning you people are going to give an account concerning you and it is all because of what you are doing today sometimes we take certain decisions and we think it is the best for us today but some of us are also smart enough because we take some decisions we do certain things and we wish to cover them from our children we, we we just don't want our children to see and know what we have done for the rest of our lives we wish they are hidden to completely from our children today i want us to consider two people and the kind of reputation the kind of reputation that they built for themselves number one i want us to consider a man called daniel and i am reading a small account of a reputation that he built for himself let me read from daniel chapter 5 verse 11 and i read there is a man in your kingdom who has the spirit of the holy ghost in him in the time of your father he was found to have insight intelligence and wisdom like that of the ghost wow what a reputation this is the kind of reputation that makes me want to sit down and reconsider my steps sometimes when i look at what i have done with my life in the past there are people that i meet and i want to hide my face because of what i have done in my past concerning them because of what i think they still hold in their minds concerning me what kind of story what kind of reportage what kind of report what kind of account do people give concerning you in your absence this is an account given by a queen concerning a man in his absence but it was just because of what the man had done that the woman knows of what we are doing today is helping us build a reputation for ourselves tomorrow there is another man that i want us to consider and his name is judas when you make mention of the name judas you don't need to add anything to it because judas alone rings a bell because of one kind of reputation that he built for himself today when you mention judas and somebody else is called judas he would want you to clarify judas iscariot he's the man that got the opportunity to work with the savior of the world he was the man that got the opportunity to to share some time with the savior of the world but because of of the of the demonic mindset that this man had he never utilized his opportunity correctly he wanted money it is it, it, an account has been made concerning judas that at their time 30 pieces of silver made you a billionaire judas became a billionaire yes he became a billionaire but then he regretted he he, he became sad he became angry with himself at the end of the day he committed suicide but still the reputation about him the reputation he built for himself continued to live up to today when we make mention of the name judas iscariot you don't you don't you, you don't say the man who was rich you don't say the man that was a millionaire what you say is the man that betrayed jesus christ wow what a reputation what a reputation so when people mention your name in the house what do they say about you some of us people mention our names only when there is alcohol some of us people mention our names when only when there is trouble some of us people mention our names only when something has been stolen some of us people mention our names 
when we are looking for somebody who has impregnated somebody some of us people mention our names when it has got to do with sex and fornication some of us our names are only mentioned when it has got to do with snatching other people's men some of us our names are only mentioned when it has got to do with nude pictures and pornography what kind of reputation are you building for yourself some of us our names are only mentioned when it has got to do with drugs and contraband goods what kind of reputation are you building for yourself my brother because when you are not there tomorrow an account will be made of you when they mention your name are they going to say the murderer are they going to say the, the thief are they going to say the fornicator are they going to say the untruthful person are they going to say the the the, the, the unfaithful one are they going to say the man full of wisdom are they going to say the man filled with the spirit of the holy god what kind of reputation are you building for yourself because you, you, you can be a pastor all right but tomorrow if your name is mentioned what kind of description is going to be given to you i want us to consider the kind of reputation that you are building for yourself today because tomorrow that will be the account that people will make concerning you i want to give you five keys for creating good reputations number one is character i consider daniel's character because daniel is one of the few characters in the bible with no major flaws on his record he was a politician without scandal how refreshing is that in fact his enemies spied on him and tried to dig up debt to tarnish his image to tarnish his reputation but they could find no occasion or fault because he was faithful are you faithful are you trustworthy are you somebody who can stand by your word today and stand by your word tomorrow in the presence of people and in the absence of people do you stand by your word what kind of character are you building for yourself so in order to build a good reputation for yourself you need to look at your character what kind of character are you building for yourself what kind of character are you portraying to others the second thing i want us to consider is our convictions daniel's conviction was an interesting one conviction means you have set boundaries for your life what kind of boundaries have you set for your, your life today you don't drink alcohol tomorrow somebody convinces you and then you can drink alcohol today you don't eat this food the next day because somebody can eat it you can eat it what kind of convictions are you setting for yourself what makes you different from others what makes you different from other people number three is your courage daniel relied on his god and he knew that no matter the situation he was going to win he had courage because of the god that he was serving you are a christian but you are afraid of magicians you are a christian you claim to be a christian but you are afraid of a fetish priest you are afraid of a malam what kind of courage do you have number four is consistency people are not consistent these days daniel was a consistent man i can tell you for a fact daniel would never be seen in two ways he was a consistent man number five Daniel was a man with vision. He had vision for the future. He had vision for what is ahead, what was to come in thousands of years. He had vision. He had good visions. God revealed the future to Daniel because of the nature of person he was. What nature of person are you? Are you the Daniel type or you are the Judas type? Because some of us, when we get to see the future, we will sell people before the future even comes that is the judas life when we get to know that our brother is going to be something big in the future we will sell him like how they sold joseph what kind of what kind of vision do you have and what kind of what kind of character do you have how can god reveal the future to you tomorrow what is going to be said about you? Kwame Nkrumah has been dead for so many years. Nelson Mandela has been dead for so many years. And yet when we mention their names, 
people stand up a nation stands up what kind of reputation are you building for yourself you are not now a human being just like them tomorrow if you are going to be a hero it is going to be based on the reputation that you are building for yourself today it is big it is going to be based on the story that you are building for yourself today tomorrow you are going to make history depending on the reputation that you are building are you going to be a hitler are you going to be an abraham lincoln are you going to be kwame nkrumah are you going to be nelson mandela are you going to be mahatma gandhi are you going to be a jesus christ are you going to be a paul what kind of reputation are you building for yourself good morning